Greetings and salutations. My name is Amani. And my name is Ayana. Welcome, Welcome to BCPS In Depth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that serious stuff wasn't going to work. I'm Ayana. And I'm Amani. And, and together, together we are double A, because we got all the energy. Hey! All right, let's get this show on the road. So you know what rhymes with road? Cold, which is what it is right now, which means winter is almost here, which also means leaves are falling off all the trees. But for one middle school, learning about the importance of trees and getting hands-on experience now certainly will pay off when spring comes around. So the students today are learning about trees, um, proper care of trees and maintenance, but also the benefits of trees. So today they're working with Blue Water Baltimore to put trees in the ground, learn how to stake them, take care of them, and find out how they're going to further benefit the environment. All the air pollution and little bits that are, that are on here are going to flow outwards to the grass. And again, the trees and the roots are going to help to pull out that water. The microparticulates are going to stay in the ground and slowly break down over time. Where's the, uh, I mean, it honestly just feels like a, like a really good experience still that I'm helping the environment. And not only am I helping the environment, I'm doing something that will not only help me, but other people in future generations as well. And it's just like a really good activity and thing to do today, so I enjoyed myself. In the back there, yeah. Um, is that like the water after the storm and how it like, because it's like in the street and stuff yeah. and it's on the flood? Yeah, very good. I think it's important to have stuff like this because trees play an important role in our society and the fact that we're cutting down a lot of them I mean, is not a very good thing, so doing stuff like this is great. <laughs> so the dark is the organic matter. And think of that as like the way that carbon, trees need to grow by absorbing carbon. And then the nutrients are all the fertilizers and micronutrients that are in it. I'm with Blue Water Baltimore. Blue Water Baltimore is all about clean water, strong communities. So we're trying to clean up the harbor someday. And tree planting is one of the ways that we help improve water quality. So the kids, I mean, they're helping. Like to do, to do this work with a contractor costs it'd probably be a day of work for two guys and a machine. And so by having volunteers, they're participating in the restoration of they're helping their school look beautiful, they're helping the neighborhood of Rogers Forge, and they're helping their community out and their watershed out to eventually have better water. Maybe a swimmable harbor someday, maybe fishable someday, but uh, definitely making a difference. It's something they can see, you know? The nice thing about planting a tree is you can come back and see your efforts over time. What a great learning experience. Just think, as those trees grow, those middle school kids can look back one day and share their knowledge with their own children. The knowledge of trees? Sure. And speaking of sharing, Norwood Elementary School went all out in honoring local veterans and their community during the annual Veterans Day celebration. Let's take a look. Norwood Elementary School held its annual Veterans Day celebration to honor local veterans and to raise student awareness. From today, I hope that our students can take away an appreciation of our country and the military and the soldiers that who have fought for our freedom. The special area team come together and the art teacher, myself, the PE teacher, and the music teacher, we all do a little bit to incorporate it throughout the week so that the students really um, gain a deep understanding of what Veterans Day is all about. The Veterans Day celebration at Norwood was not only special because it had performances, marches, and presentations, but because veterans were in attendance. Especially one in particular, First Lieutenant Timothy Baker, who shared his experiences about the Vietnam War as the elementary school students listened in awe. I love the little children. I think the little children who are way, way younger um, and too young to know the stuff that we've gone through. Here is something about the patriotic songs and stories uh, that we need to tell them. And it's a part of learning. And on Veterans Day, they should learn about veterans. A day like today, anything I can do to help celebrate another veteran, I'll do it. What I liked about Veterans Day celebration was when they sang the national anthem. I like celebrating Veterans Day because they fought for our freedom. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Not because of 
But for Timothy Baker, Veterans Day is more than just a celebration of vets like himself. It is a very personal feeling about love for country. I always end the, the story with God bless you beautiful children and God bless the United States of America. And I can never get through it. I just love this country. There's so much happening in BCPS, and there are so many good people. But for one employee, let's just say there's no one like her. Our BCPS buses are always in top shape to make their daily runs. But if for some reason the upholstery or glass is damaged, who takes care of it? I've been working for Baltimore County Public Schools for 14 years. I started out as a automotive service worker, and now I do the glass and upholstery. I love what I do because it's something different every day. One day I could be repairing a broken window and then the next sewing up seat covers. Laura has three specific skill sets that make her position very unique and necessary. Not only does she do upholstery work, she also does glass work and she also does repairs and installations in our school buses. Finding an individual like that is not common, if at all possible, but to have an individual that has all three skill sets and is as efficient and knowledgeable as she is in those three fields is invaluable to us. Laura has been working in this capacity for the past eight years. This job has been the perfect fit for her, just like she wants her work to be. I like everything to be perfect for the students and the bus drivers because I take pride in my work. The first thing I notice when I travel are the conditions of the seats. I expect the best when I travel, and I feel that the students and the employees of Baltimore County Public Schools deserve the same. Laura loves her job and wants to see other BCPS students pursue this field. As a BCPS graduate, I know that BCPS provides an excellent automotive program. If this is something that interests you, I would definitely pursue it. It has allowed me to grow within the system. Laura embodies dedication to her job. She's very proud of what she does. She's hardworking. Her skill set is beyond compare, and we are very fortunate to have her on our team. Well, we certainly appreciate Laura for keeping our buses looking good. You know what else looks good? Food? Exactly. <laughs> so do you like food? I love food. You ever watch the Food Network? Of course. Student council reps at one school created their own version of CHOP Challenge as a way of building leadership and teamwork. It's go time. All right, we have started. As students from the Rosedale Center take to the griddle for a CHOP Challenge. Our student government each quarter starts with a brainstorming session on things that we can improve or better upon in our school community. And one of the things that the students mentioned was the lack of real world application or hands-on learning that they are really yearning for, um, one of which being cooking. What excites me about this challenge is that these kids are going to be able to like, work together and cook with each other and have fun. With 25 minutes to complete the task, the students huddled up to seek out the secret ingredients that would become their masterpiece. So we went round and round thinking about the special ingredients for the basket. We wanted to make sure that the ingredients um, made some different dishes that there was enough to um, be creative with. Um, and the other way that we sort of, we thought one item, one or two items per food group really helped us kind of narrow down what to go into the ingredients. And then because we are fans of the show Chopped, we know that there's always some random surprise ingredient that throws the chefs off a little bit in their thinking and their creativity. And so the students came up with Pot Rocks. I was nervous for everybody because I was like, how are they gonna make something out of these silly ingredients? As the clock continued counting down, the students worked feverishly to create their final dishes. 
I really want them to take away um, some leadership skills from this event. This, the adults in the room were directed, um, which was very challenging for them, but they were directed to sort of hang back and let kids take control. And um, a lot of times our students aren't really given those leadership opportunities in their home schools. And uh, we really want to foster that here at Rosedale and just remind them that, that everybody has leadership potential. And I also want them to remember the joy that they experience today working with kids and um, collaborating with their peers. As a recent Food Network CHOP winner, Executive Chef Jay Rolfing explains how he got involved in becoming a judge. I decided to be a judge here today. Um, I had a great friend reach out to me who um, works here at Rosedale Academy and mentioned they were doing a chopped competition. And the fact that uh, I think I'm one of the few chefs in town that has uh, first-hand experience, I thought it would be a wonderful um, time to come here. And Time's up, so let the judging begin. I was quite surprised to see the level of creativity amongst all of the teams here today. Um, when it came to judging and, and picking the winner, it was about the team that transformed all the ingredients into something unique. And um, I have to say that it was a very tough decision. All of the teams created something very delicious, um, creative, and um, in the end, uh, it had to do with the Pop Rocks, and, and that was that ingredient that um, stood out. It was the throw a, a wrench in the works ingredient, and a couple of students really um, found a creative way to put that in there. And the winner, Team Castrilli. Congrats to everyone who participated in this fun event. You know, I think Team Castrilli should submit their application now to the Food Network. And you know what? I agree. <laughs> so each month we profile a school, we checked out Kenwood High and their new eco-friendly program that has students and teachers managing their waste. So Kenwood is a place where we take pride in all that we do. Kenwood is dedicated to learning. Kenwood is involved in our community. Kenwood is enthusiastic. Kenwood is determined. Kenwood is rigorous. Kenwood is a family. Kenwood is engaging, and Kenwood is positive. Kenwood has several different programs in our building for completers for our students, such as nutrition and foods, carpentry, graphic communications, plumbing, uh, college and career research development. One particular club that we have is our environmental club, uh, which has a terrific group of students that continue to discuss and talk about ways that our school can help promote uh, a cleaner uh, environment and how we can continue to support that in our community. And we are now uh, piloting a compost program in our cafeteria during every lunch shift. So we have a, some staff members that continue to lead uh, this terrific uh, club and now they are uh, helping lead our students in terms of proper disposal of recyclable items, uh, compostable food versus trash. Uh, there's not a day that goes by where I'm not the proudest principal in all of Baltimore County Public Schools to be able to help coach and lead uh, this terrific building. We have an absolute fantastic group of teachers, fantastic group of students, and wonderful community members that continue to have such great pride in all that we do here in the building. From our students to our instruction to our extracurricular activities to all the programs that we are able to offer and provide for our students, we continue to excel and we are very excited about the direction that our school continues to go on our climb to the top. Well, that's all folks. We sure did have some neat stories to share with you on today's edition of At BCPS In Depth. If you have any story ideas, comments, or suggestions, contact us at bcps-tv at bcps.org. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and with the BCPS Now mobile app. Until, Until next time, time, I'm Amani. And I'm Ayana. And, and we, we are Double A. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.